All right, hi everybody. I'm gonna show you how you can install G4Tran from uh, Homebrew. It's a really nifty Unix uh, package installer for Macintosh or Mac OS uh, operating systems. So um, I'm actually gonna start the video by uninstalling Homebrew because I already have Homebrew. If I just type in which brew, brew is the command for using Homebrew. Um, and so clearly I already have it, but I'm just going to uninstall it really quick. Basically, uh, the steps for that, and I include, I can include this link in the description, but basically, um, there's some instructions that are on a GitHub page already. Uh, it's the homebrew owned GitHub page and they have a little nifty command here. That's a bin bash command. Uh, I'm just going to throw this into my terminal so I can uninstall homebrew yes i'm sure i want to uninstall it okay uh it's doing its thing it needs higher permission to uninstall it so i just gave it the permission to do that so now if i type in which brew um it's no longer found so there are some extra things that are still left over um i might get some minor errors here and there but we should be able to proceed with this video uh, but essentially, now that we no longer have Homebrew, let me just start installing Homebrew the way you would install it if you were starting from scratch. So starting from scratch, you'll want to Google Homebrew, and I can include this link to the home webpage, but on their very front one page, they'll have this little um, link here. You'll drag and drop that into your terminal. Now we're installing Homebrew. Uh, once you put in your password, it will go through this list. Um, oh, shoot, I forgot to mention really quickly that my system, while we wait for that, is Mac OS Big Sur, and I have Intel Core i7 chips. Um, and so essentially, you know, I'm not sure how it would work for a Mac M1 chip, but for Intel, it shouldn't be too hard. Um, now that we have Homebrew, it threw a little minor error, but it's okay because we should have homebrew now. Yeah, we do have it. Awesome. Now if I type in which G Fortran, for, Fortran, right? There we go. Okay, so I don't have Fortran, which is clear, um, but we're about to install it by just typing in brew install GCC. When you do this, GCC automatically installs G Fortran. It's really uh, simple and easy to do it this way. Shouldn't take too long, but I'll probably fast forward through this part in the video. Um, all right, so give it a moment. Alrighty, so we are um, nearing the end of the install. This is kind of what it looks like when it nears the end. Um, just putting on the finishing touches of the install. All right, come on, come in, hurry up. All right, we have just finished installing G4Tran um, using the which GCC or brew install GCC command. Uh, as you can tell, I've already typed in which G4Tran quite a few times just to verify that it's already installed. Um, now that you have it on your system, you should be able to compile um, Fortran. You know, should go out and have some fun with some old code. Um, and hopefully this video was helpful and instrumental in making sure that you have an easy time installing G4Gen to a macOS system. So have a great day, everyone. Thank you.